State of Search. This is the State of Search News Roundup for August 3rd, 2010. The State of Search News Roundup is provided by stateofsearch.com, a website which looks at what's going on in the world of search. You can find all the links to related articles on the website stateofsearch.com. Hi, and welcome to already the second episode of the State of Search News Roundup. Last week's first episode was really successful with a lot of views, and of course we're hoping on a lot more views this week. So if you like it, share it. And we are going to be talking about a lot of interesting topics today. Uh, all the links, as said, can be found on stateofsearch.com, but here are the topics for this week. So let's start off what you can expect in the coming minutes on the State of Search News Roundup. In the next minutes you will see these topics. Yahoo Japan starts using Google. WikiLeaks mapped. Facebook questions opens up. Bing Street Slide outplays Street View. A remarkable Google pattern. More Google stuff, of course. We talk a lot about Google because a lot of happens with Google. Ask a question. And finally, Bing Ads. So let's start off with Yahoo Japan. A surprising move it was in Japan, where Yahoo was just starting to integrate Microsoft uh, results into their search results in the US. Yahoo Japan announced it will adopt Google's search engine and advertisement delivery system, and will also provide Google with its data. Yahoo Japan is not fully owned by Yahoo itself. Yahoo only holds 35% of the stakes and therefore the deal will not interfere with the Microsoft Yahoo deal which was made in the US. With the deal, Yahoo will make Google even more powerful in a fast-growing Japanese market. Bing just entered the Japanese market and uh, has its branded search there, but it only has a small share uh, of um, almost 3%. It caused a big uproar last week, the leakage of secret documents in the Afghan war on WikiLeaks. What was interesting related to search topics was that WikiLeaks made extensive use of Google Maps when publishing their hot news. If you look at the documents, you will see Google Maps integrated and you will see where the documents are uh, located and what, they are, what area they are talking about. The documents can be found on WikiLeaks, but not on Google, as Google has not indexed them so far, and uh, that might have something to do with the robots.txt. Finally, last week, Facebook Questions opened for a limited public, though. Facebook Questions lets you post questions uh, to the Facebook community. For questions, uh, you will be um, uh, going to the Facebook page, specific uh, Facebook question page and then drop the questions and your questions will then be available for the Facebook community who can answer them. The service is not unique, there are more services out there like Yahoo Answers and we'll be talking about another one later on and uh, Facebook though does have the most active community of them all. Tags allow you to browse through the asked questions and answers and I have to tell you though be careful because your questions if you ask one are open to everybody, not just your friends. Where Google is busy getting rid of lawsuits about Street View, Bing just keeps on making new brilliant map stuff. I've talked about uh, Street Site before on Bing, but now at Sifgraph 2010, Microsoft presented another high wow factor, Street Slide. With Street Slide, you can more easily get an overview of an entire street, see building numbers and company logos, and um, lots of more other stuff. Microsoft also improved the PhotoSync navigation they introduced earlier. On State of Search, you can watch videos of the new Street Slide features, and be sure to check them out because we will most probably have to wait a while before we are actually going to see this in Bing Maps. Uh, they are planning to integrate it this year in the US but not yet in Europe, but we'll still have to wait until the end of the year to see it when we are in the US. A remarkable Google patent then this week we saw. Uh, Google was rewarded a patent which was called Enhanced Document Browsing with Automatically Generated Links to Relevant Information. This patent will make it possible for Google to find within an article on the web additional links to supporting documents and place those links within the articles. 
So an article on State of Search could be having links in them which are placed there by Google. Very interesting how this will be working legally. The links can also be placed based on a searcher's history. So it's not just that you will see the same links. Uh, I could see different links than you. And it goes even further. The links could be geo-targeted as well. So it could be based on the fact that I am in Holland and you are, for example, in the US. So you will be seeing different links based on your location and your search history. If Google would implement this, this would of course mean a major implications to search and link building. Continuing with patents, a few patents filed by Apple can make Google's life really hard on the mobile front when Apple can make these work. The three filings they did last week show that Apple wants a browserless future and an application ecosystem. With the app world, Apple would be able to much better control advertising because there would be no browser anymore, so you wouldn't be surfing on the web, you would be surfing the applications, who are, of course, controlled by Apple. Meanwhile, Google seems untouchable when it comes to mobile search. Search Engine Land reports that a research by Royal Pingdom shows Google almost has 100% market share in mobile search. With 98.3% market share worldwide, Google outruns Bing and Yahoo. The lead, no doubt, has something to do with the growing market share of Android, but the numbers do seem a bit high, so we'll have to see if the numbers are actually accurate. Meanwhile, Google is uh, continuing to improve their image search. Last week we saw image search redesigned and not without a reason, so it appears this week. Barry Schwartz over at Search Engine Land noticed that Google now, in some cases, is also showing image ads in the image search. Which means that on top of the results you can see sponsored links with an image next to them. I haven't been able to spot them myself yet, but I'm not in the US, so maybe you are. And uh, if you found them, please let me know and send me the uh, screenshots. Back to Europe, where six French newspapers are joining forces in creating an online newsstand where readers will be able to buy and read their content from the specific newspapers. It was announced by France National Daily Press Union as an alternative to Google News. The initiative will be lost in, launched in September and uh, would be a portal with all sorts of news from the different newspapers on it. Google responded to it that it's not advertising on the French Google News at the moment and is happy to see any new experimentation and innovation in this space. So Google's not threatened by what the French newspapers are doing. Let me ask you, do you ever use Ask? You know the one with Jeeves? When it's up to the search engine I'll ask, you will be using it a lot more, for Q&A that is, and we've had Facebook questions before in this uh, video, but now it's Ask questions. Ask says that it has the largest index of questions and answers, over 500 million pairs and growing, and it will uh, be answering your questions if you type in your question in the search bar on Ask. If the question is not within the 500 answers they're already 500 million answers they already have, it will route questions to relevant people based on interest and expertise. So it's getting social also. Currently, the ask questions are only available on invite-only basis, but there's a link on the website, a state of search, where you can get your invite. Finally, we end with some good news for bingers out there. A study by Chitika Research shows ads are more clicked on, on Bing than on Google. Chitika compared a click behavior on Google and Bing amongst 50 million impressions and apparently Google users clicked on ads at a rate of 1.09% while Bing users clicked on ads 1.67% of, of the time. It's low numbers but it makes a difference therefore if you click on uh, if you use Bing or if you use Google, so it seems. But then again, we'll have to wait and see and uh, we, if this will actually affect the, the way advertisers are looking at uh, either Google or Bing. I suspect not. So that's it for this week again. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at state underscore of search and the website stateofsearch.com. All the links to the articles mentioned here are available on the website.